Libra, and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week of August 30th, and this is a general reading. Wow. Libra, for some of you, this is an interesting week for you. It's pretty lucky, I have to say. Uh, for some of you, there is money. There is a base energy of money coming in, okay? Uh, for some of you, it could be doing overtime, and this is money because of overtime. Others, it's working on something here. Something is a work in progress, too, so we're looking at many energies here. Uh, for others, you have to make some kind of a de decision that you've been kind of weighing to do. This is um, working on a business, working on... Um, Continue working on something is what I'm seeing here, okay? So you do have that energy. You have overall, I have to say, and it is a general reading, but I do see some of you, you're wishing for more luck. Well, you got it this week, okay? You have to be assured that you have all the luck you need. Um, for a lot of you, I see like a four-leaf clover. It's like you're almost where um, you have this four-leaf clover in your pocket, you have to focus on your vast abundance, okay? So what is everything that's abundant on your in your life? And you will attract a lot more. So that really shows up here. Uh, you have good luck and great adventures when you are traveling. So travel and luck is connected too for some of you. This is a time of good fortune, okay? Um some of you are, are incredibly lucky. It's either dumb luck or something, okay? You have many blessings in your life. There's abundance, prosperities. It's constantly will be flowing if you keep positive because this is a week of manifestation for you. And be grateful for all the gifts that you do have. This is also for some of you, if you're worried about some kind of travel, it's safe, adventurous travel. And it's filled with a lot of, um, I want to say, cosmic, uh, universal um, um, coincidences, serendipities. Um, it's certainly an experience, so I'm seeing that for a lot of you. Uh, you kind of start off the week, I see, for some of you. You're overthinking things. There is dealing with some loss or sadness. Uh, this can be connected to relationships, maybe a friendship fallout or love. There is some sadness. I see two energies for some of you. Um, you could be dealing with like a Taurus and Sagittarius energy, or they exhibit those energies. Um, I do see that for some of you, there is like you're not happy about a commitment you made in love or um, you're not getting that commitment that you've been wanting. So there is that energy, too. I'm trying to kind of look, you know, the energy is vast when um, we got so many. Um, you know, it's a general reading. Um, I do see for some of you travel. Okay, you're going to be leaving this energy quickly behind. So it's almost like you go from okay to, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of you thinking of leaving, leaving a job, leaving a person, leaving um, a situation. For some of you, maybe even thinking of moving residence for what I'm, I'm saying. There's also a Capricorn energy here. And this could have been some strife that you had with work. It's getting better. There's a strong new emotional path and a new path opening up here too. Um, I do see, um, uh, this is good energy, even midweek. I do see here it's, um, uh, nurturing the growth. There is, um, some of you may go on a spending spree that I see some of you shopping so that, you know, I'm seeing that energy for others. This is uh, working on a business, working at, um, at work. This is a good, um, energy. You have very high drive, uh, very, you're very driven. You have a high energy here and you'll be successful. Um, I do see huge manifestation this week. A lot of you can manifest what you want, um, and it can come in quickly. You can, you know, that means start manifesting. Sometimes you have to give things times, but I do see a lot of things you will get what you want. You have to follow your intuition, manifest the positive. Um, also, there's a learning experience here, too. It could be dealing with a group of people, okay? So a lot of you are dwelling more into spirituality, um, I do see also a change of direction with career, work, or even home for some of you. Um, breaking free. 
this is financial independence. And this is, for some of you, a lot of positive thinking is going to pay off. I really like that. Um, there's a lot of help around you too. There's some changes that maybe you want to make about yourself, but you're not even sure yet. And this is dealing and addressing some of your self-esteem issues. Um, so there, there is something there and this could be about your appearance or the way you feel. Okay. But be careful of missed opportunities as well. There's a lot of help there too. I do see for some of you, there could be some changes at home. This is some movement um, or, you know, you're you're making some kind of adjustments. But I do see here, this could be unexpectedly somebody comes over. This could be company, someone you haven't seen in a while, uh, following your dreams. But get some rest too, okay? There is a need for a rest and following and, um, you know, your objectives or whatever it is. But again, at the same time, let things naturally come to you too, okay? Don't push or don't fix anything that doesn't need to be broken is that type of energy too. So we see a lot of um, movement coming in. But overall, you have um, luck on your side, okay? So it's uh, serendipi serendipity. For some of you, this is actually even on travel, especially if you're traveling. So very interesting energy. There is a spade on the side. So if there's any legalities or something official, it could be a little bit slow coming, but you're on the right path. It looks pretty good. Just, you know, ups and downs. You're carrying some kind of luck for most of you, okay? Um, love is a little tricky or matters of the heart. It's like you've got some options and they could be some kind of sadness or loss or um, some of you, you know, it's like a, an ending of a relationship. Maybe you finally, um, you know, decide to part your ways or something. There is something like that as well. And almost like a recovery period, but it takes time to mourn, you know, I guess. You know what I mean? But be careful of rebounds. It's another thing I'm seeing here, too. All right, Libra, that was your reading for the week of August 30th. I hope you have um, a wonderful week. Sometimes things catch my eye. There is an energy, like I said, with love. Um, maybe there is a return, but or adjustments in a relationship, and you're just not happy with everything that's going on. It's something affecting the matters of the heart, and it doesn't have to be exactly a romantic relationship. It could be any relationship. So we are seeing that kind of energy and kind of mourning a loss for some of you as well. Okay, so yeah. But I see this is blessings in disguise. It's clearing the way, okay? All right. Have a wonderful week, Libra, and I will catch you back um, next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.